Don Whitehorse was a real man, wasn't he? Aye. I'm sure you felt the weight of that in your blade as his second. I'm sorry I made you shoulder that hurt. It's all right. Unbelievable. Why would he accept that role? Do you think Yuri is really all right? He's not all right, but I imagine he'll be able to sort it out in his own mind. That lad's got real resolve. Resolve? Do you mean like with Rago and Q more? Aye. Once he's made up his mind and taken up a task, he'll see it done no matter how heavy it is. It's an exhausting path, one this old man could never take. Hmm. You aren't alone in that. All folks like us can do is keep an eye on the lad as he does what he needs to. You'll be gone soon enough. Our weapons are blades, magic, and teeth. And here we are. Welcome to Mount Temza. These are human footprints, right? There sure are a lot of them. Could it be the hunting blades? That, or it might be the knights. But why would the knights be here? Well, Flynn was looking for Apathea too. If that's what the hunting blades are doing here, then the knights could be here for the same reason. Why is everyone scrambling to get their hands on Apathea all of a sudden? It was so pretty, all sparkly and glittery. I'm sure it's incredibly valuable. We never had the chance to get an explanation from the Dawn. If Judy will clue us in on what she knows, things might clear up. Judy, I wonder if she'll tell us. I don't know. It's up to her whether she'll talk or not. Of course, if she decides not to. Yuri? Hey, you guys, come look at this! This is crazy! What the heck is this? The mountain's been... flattened. What could have happened? Is there really supposed to be a town here? Well, it was here ten years ago, that I'm sure of. But I can't vouch for what's happened since then. Ten years? That's quite a ways back. What were you doing way out here? Uh, well... <gasps> that voice! Is that you, freak? Here's hoping everything's alright. Let's hurry. It's even worse from up close. I've never seen a hole this big before. There's no way this could have happened naturally. It looks like something exploded here. An explosion? Are there monsters that can do something like this? They were, but those monsters were all wiped out. What do you mean, wiped out? What you see here. This was a battleground in the Great War. What? Really? So that means humans and Entelikea fought here. The humans were victorious, but there were scarcely any survivors. The facts behind the war are shrouded in darkness. Not even the official government histories give many details about what happened. So the Entelikea did this to the mountains. Terrible power. The Great War. Ten years ago. That must have been when you were a baby, Patty. I... But this is the first time I've heard that a battle took place here. The Empire's kept a pretty tight hold on information about it. They've got a lot of secrets. You should know that by now. Thought it was strange that monsters would wage war against humans, but... 
What they didn't want us to know was that those monsters were actually in Telekea. You sure know a lot about this stuff, Raven. You come across a lot if you live long enough, kitties. Okay, enough history lessons. We came here so we could look for Judy. The monster's voice we heard just now. What if they've already got Judith cornered? Judy's really strong. There's no way she'll go down easily. Of course not. Besides, I've got to give that dragon freak a beat down. I can't let a monster beat me to the punch. Yeah. Let's hurry. Man, the Great War. I mean, leaving a gaping hole where a mountain used to be. I still can't believe how much power the Antilochia must have had. How could the humans fight beings that powerful and not get demolished? I just don't get it. Indeed, the Great War may still hold secrets we haven't uncovered yet. And I'll bet those secrets are hidden somewhere in this mountain. Yeah, but the war's over now. It can't have anything to do with us, right? I hope so, but... Get ready. I'm taking you down. Reaper's this?
We do battle with all our might! Hold still. I'll make this quick. That's over. I won't lose. Just thinking about what Judy said. Bowel saved me during the war. I just realized that maybe she was talking about the Great War when she said that. So maybe she fought against the Empire with that dragon freak during the Great War? It'd be kind of sad if Judy was an enemy of mankind. Maybe Raven can tell us. You fought in the Great War, didn't you, old man? Huh? Why? I think only someone who was on the scene would know so much about the war. Really? But there weren't supposed to be very many survivors, right? Very true. I thought I was gonna die back then, too. Ah, uh, if only I'd died then. Things would have been so much easier, too. If only you died? What a weird thing to say. So, did you ever see Judith during the war? No, not a chance. I may be a player, but ten-year-old girls are definitely off-limits for me. Oh, jeez. Then it sounds like Judy didn't participate in the war. Right. I mean, if it was ten years ago, she'd be nine. That's even younger than me. Hmm. I feel like I never saw Ba'ul, either. Maybe they ran away from the battle? So it was really the Antelakea who fought in the battle? Yes, I guess so. Though at the time, we thought they were only a really terrible breed of monsters. But, wow! You were really in the war, huh, Raven? That's so cool! I thought only Imperial Knights fought in the war. Maybe I'll tell you more about it when you're older. Hold still. I'll make this quick. All right. Here we go. Yay! We did This is...
this a Critian city? More like the remains of one. There might be some treasure around here. What do you think Judith would come here for? Suppose it wouldn't make much sense to say she was feeling homesick. The hunting blades! Judith! You! Damn you! Go inform Tyson and Nan! Hey! Nobody lays a hand on one of our own. If she's broken our laws, we'll settle this amongst ourselves. Now get out of here. We're only trying to follow a monster we're hunting. This doesn't involve you. Okay, this is getting us nowhere. Let me at him! You're right. It's just a waste of time trying to talk sense to people like this. Anyone who interrupts our conversation is going to be taking a long nap. Leave. Now. Or do you really want to do this? Judith, you followed me here. Yeah, we're here to settle things for the sake of the guild. Judith, tell us everything you know. Why you destroyed the Blastia. About the Apatheia and the Entelikea, their relationship to Pharaoh. All of it. And even though you're one of us, your answers will decide your fate. Punish the unjust, was it? Honestly, I don't know if that's really a good thing or not. You've already come this far. I suppose there's no going back now. Come. Yuri, what did you mean about Judy's fate? If there's one thing that Dawn's last moments taught me, it's that I've been too soft. If a part is infected, you cut it off before it infects the whole. Even if it's a comrade, an Antilochea, or a friend. You mean even if it's Flynn or Pharaoh? Yeah. It's the path I've chosen for myself. I... The Hunting Blades again? We didn't just cross paths this time. We're after the same thing. We just might have to fight. I if it does come to that, you guys don't have to worry about me. But we can't keep Judith waiting. Let's go! Carol... Our boy's growing up. Yeah. Isn't there some way we can avoid fighting the Hunting Blades? I hope so, but it's pretty much up to them. Yup. stories of a Critian town, but I never knew where it was. Me too. Didn't expect it to be on Mount Temza. They must really value their privacy to build a whole town on a mountain. Is there something they don't like doing in front of other folk? Critians are a secretive lot to be sure. Oh, <laughs> 
I'm just getting started. Finish that. This place was the ground on which the Great War was fought. Yeah, we heard from the old man here. The Great War was sparked by a type of Blastia. What? This was not a Blastia that had been excavated. It had been constructed in the city of Temza, using a new type of technology. The Hermes Blastia. 
Hermes Blastia? I've never heard of it. And if you say it was newly built... I didn't think you could make a new Blastia. The Hermes models were even more effective at converting air into energy. They were intended to... revolutionize the technology of Blastia. But something went wrong. The Blastia using these Hermes-type formulas required massive quantities of air. The air crina began producing abnormal amounts of air in order to compensate. That would mean the end, not just of humanity, but all life on this planet! Just like we saw at Cave Mach and the Weasand of Kados. Wouldn't like to see that happen everywhere. The Entelechea realized the dangers of the Hermes Blastia before the humans, and they moved to destroy them. Which created a conflict that grew until it eventually became the Great War. So then the Entelechea fought against the humans to help the planet? But why didn't they tell the humans how dangerous those Blastia were? Neither side probably cared much if the other brought itself to ruin. There's never been any love lost between humans and Entelechea. Probably didn't talk much. Or maybe there was another reason. But what does any of this have to do with you, Judy? Temza fell to the flames of war, and the technology of the Hermes Blastia was believed lost. Wait, you mean there are still Hermes models in operation? Yes, at Rago's mansion, Emmet Hill, Gosforost, not to mention. The Ceres Blastia on the Fiertia. That new Ceres Blastia must have been a Hermes Blastia. So then you've been destroying the Blastia in place of the Entelechea. You could have mentioned that. Why didn't you say something? Were you going to save the world all on your own? Are you stupid? Our mark. You will not pass. You're a person, aren't you? How can you defend a monster? Didn't you get the news? I said nobody lays a hand on one of our own. We won't allow that. Not even from you, Nan. We were having a conversation over here, but out. I can't believe these guys. Such scallywags. I don't usually like to get my clothes dirty, but... Everyone. Have the Hunting Blades added people to their list of targets? Nobody who associates with monsters can rightly call themselves a person! Carol! Have you forgotten the credo of the Hunting Blades? Step aside! Monsters are evil, and the Hunting Blades pursue that evil. But the Entelechea aren't evil! They were fighting to save the world! Don't let them fool you with that credo nonsense. They're on a job. They're here for the Apatheia. Huh. <sighs> It seems you won't listen to reason. If you have no intention of moving, you leave us no choice! Me my life. 
pretty stupid to think anything out of the ordinary is automatically evil. Aiding monsters is punishable by death! They're worse than monsters. They just got instinct. You got brains. So what's your excuse? Shut up! We hunting blades will not back down! So I guess we just gotta fight this out. Don't blame me for what happens. Were you going easy on them? I'll fight anybody who lays a hand on my people. I'm not done yet! Nan, I'm sorry. The hole in this mountain is like the hole in my heart. How <sighs> my chest aches. Getting all sentimental on us, old man? Nah, it's just memories of the war. I'd appreciate it if we didn't spend too much time here. Stop being such a coward. Oh, that hurts, Rita. The only way to get past a bad memory is to embrace it. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Not really. I was just generalizing. Anyway, you want to hurry, right? Then let's go. Our little genius mage is more mature than she looks. You'll be gone soon enough. I did it! Get ready. I'm taking you down. Spread Oh, 
Our weapons are bl What's happening? Baul is trying to evolve as an Intelikea. It looks like he's suffering. Baul, come on. You can do it. No! I want to heal your wounds, but there's nothing I can do. My power is poison to you, isn't it? Healing wounds isn't your power, Estelle. What do you mean? Don't you remember Bellius's words? Power corrupts. But you... You are different. Never lose that kindness. The compassion you so readily show to others. My compassion for others? Your thoughts are reaching Baul. I'm sure of it. All we can do now is hope for the best. <laughs> well now. Amazing! I knew you could do it. Your partner seems like he's gonna be just fine. Yes. Thank you all for helping to protect him. This is something I couldn't have done alone. You're one of us! Of course we'd help! That's right! Didn't I tell you? You got through to him! <laughs> you make it through to Pharaoh as well. Will you be going to meet him? That's up to Estelle to decide. I'll go. It's been the purpose of my journey, after all. Are you sure? What if you end up getting killed? Even still, I've got to stand firm on this. It won't be too long before the Hunting Blades send reinforcements. How about a change in scenery before they show up and spoil the party? There's only one path down from here, though. We're bound to run into them. The skies are wide open above us. Have you lost your mind? Get on. We'll fly as far as the Fiertia. We can finish talking once we arrive. Judy! She's sleeping. She must be exhausted. Yeah, I mean, she just killed over. Wasn't expecting that. I bet she watched over Baul the entire time he was evolving. She probably didn't get much sleep. She probably had no idea when the Hunting Blades would attack, either. She was putting up a brave front, but she must have been near the end of her rope. She's just dumb. She doesn't know how to express what she's feeling. And I'm really glad we're able to help Judy out. We can finish talking with her tomorrow. We should let her sleep now. In fact, I wouldn't mind a little shut-eye myself. We still haven't heard Judy's side, so we can't say anything, but... She sure caused the guild a major headache, breaking Blastia's all on her own. There's no getting around that fact, no matter what her reasons. We have to settle this. Man, I hate waiting. Are you thinking about Judy? Yeah. I'm wondering what we should do about her. It's true that she broke the guild's laws and betrayed us. I always thought that a guild's strict adherence to its own laws was what kept it together. That there could be no exceptions, no lenience for those who would break the laws. But... She did what she did to save the world. Judy is destroying Blastia because she knows it's the right thing to do, even if it makes people hate her. Yep. 
Judith didn't break our laws in order to do something bad. I know this now. I'm gonna talk with her about it and give it some more thought. I'll figure this out eventually. Oh yeah? Maybe if I become a little more decisive, Nan will listen to me too. So does an old man past his prime fit into the picture at all? What are you whining about, old man? Why are you past your prime? Hmm. What Judith was talking about before, Hermes Blastia, was it? Blastia created with techniques that should have been lost in the war are still active. Do you know what this means? I guess someone who survived the war brought either Blastia or those techniques back with him. If that person was still using the Blastia even though he knew it was harmful to the Earth, someone like that would have to be quite the villain indeed. Old man, don't tell me you... Hey now, yours truly was nothing but an innocent youth on the straight and narrow back then. I wouldn't do something like that even on my worst day. Huh. I was just trying to trick you into giving yourself away. You're a slippery one. Son of a... When are you gonna learn some respect for your elders? Don't fall overboard. Oh, I'll be careful. Yuri... The world sure is big. Yeah. Even though we're flying this high in the air, we still can't see everything. If the world's this big, I guess it makes sense that there'd be so many things we don't know. It might not make that much of a difference whether I get my memories back or not. Are you saying you'd be okay with not getting them back? I'm saying that I'm not the only one who feels restless and anxious not knowing the truth. Everyone's worried about something. Even you and Estelle. You think so? Isn't that why everyone's here? Isn't that why Judy came back? And is that why you're here too? I don't want to be alone. You know, you're being pretty honest today. I'm always honest. Really? Well, maybe you are. Oh, Yuri. Sorry to interrupt while you were thinking. Ever since I took Bellius's life without meaning to, I've wanted to know what it means to be the child of the full moon, so the same thing doesn't happen again. I've always thought that it was my duty to know, but after what happened to Bellius... That's how everyone is. They do something, they learn. They do something else, they learn more. You too, Yuri? Yeah. Maybe if I had known everything ahead of time, I wouldn't have made any mistakes. <laughs> There's only one thing I can say for sure. What's that? Maybe you wouldn't have made any mistakes, but it sure would have been boring. I really wonder. Is that the core from the Ceres Blastia that Judy destroyed? Yes, it's definitely cut with a different formula than a usual core. It looks like what she said was true. She said she wasn't too good at lying after all. To discover that the new technique you created was bad for the world after what must have been years of research. I can't imagine how the person who created the Hermes technique must have felt. Well, what if it had been you? If I found out that it hurt the Earth, I would have to do something about it. But I wouldn't destroy the Blastia like that. <gasps> what the...? Nothing. Uh... If only things weren't so complicated, I could've just blasted her into oblivion and been done with it. 